Each year, scientists, researchers, and everyday people make incredible discoveries, helping us to better understand the world around us. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at interesting discoveries. Astronomers discover largest known spinning structures in the universe. The universe is huge, yet despite the vast endlessness of the universe we live in, astronomers seem to have found the largest rotating structures out there. These spinning structures are long trails that fall between galaxies, and they spin on an axis of a whopping hundreds of millions of light years. Astronomers at the Leibniz Institute for Astrophysics Potsdam report that there has never been such a large rotation seen before. These large structures, called cosmic filaments, were first observed by monitoring and recording the movements of galaxies and how they connect between one another. Cosmic filaments are essentially the bridges that join up different galaxies and dark matter, but a previously unknown property was that they spin. Cosmic filaments are thin cylinders, with diameters spanning millions of light years, though they can stretch for hundreds of millions of light years in length. Despite their ginormous scale, they rotate, making them the largest spinning structures in the universe. Peng Wang, the author of the study and an astronomer at the Leibniz Institute for Astrophysics Potsdam, explained how this large-scale spinning could be relevant to our developing understanding of physics. He stated, The implication is that there must be as yet unknown physical mechanisms responsible for torquing these objects. We have no idea how this angular momentum is created, and it remains one of the biggest questions in cosmology. Yet, seeing these huge filaments carrying out this prospect proves that this concept has application beyond computer simulations. Mysterious rumblings from inside Mars detected by NASA lander NASA's InSight lander detected a mysterious rumbling from inside Mars. While it is unclear currently what these rumblings are, early reports from scientists are that they could be due to a sudden release of energy from the center of Mars. What scientists do know is that the rumblings are thought to have begun in a place known as Cerberus Fosse, a place on Mars where there have been two other reports of similar seismic activity. Whilst any similar behavior like this on Earth would more than likely be labeled an earthquake, Mars quakes are not the same thing. According to leading scientist Dr. Kawamura, there are two types of quakes that occur on Mars. One is likened to a moonquake and one similar to that of an earthquake. These rumblings are being compared to more of an Earth-like quake. Interestingly, the InSight Mars lander had captured similar strong seismic events a year ago. One of the theories is that because Mars has active volcanic regions that can cause similar rumblings, the idea is that these regions are causing the rumblings. The InSight lander's seismometer is incredibly sensitive and fortunately for scientists, this discovery comes as the windy season on Mars is dying down. Scientists have said that these winds on Mars can directly affect these sensors, so collecting data is much easier when these storms aren't so disruptive. NASA plans to keep the seismometer active for a couple of months. During that time, they hope that InSight can record some more data that will help scientists better understand this mysterious phenomenon. Discovery of Second Repeating Fast Radio Bursts Fast radio bursts have been a cause of astronomical uncertainty for years. They are transient radio pulses that can reach anywhere from a tiny fraction of a millisecond to a number of milliseconds. What is perhaps most interesting about them is their origin, namely that we have no idea where they come from. We know they need to be the result of a high-energy astrophysical process, we just don't know what that process is. In 2019, a team of international astronomers managed to discover a persistently active fast radio burst, the second one ever observed. This new source, dubbed Fast Radio Burst 20190520b, was spotted using the Aperture Spherical Radio Telescope in Guizhou, China. It was in May that the burst was first detected, with data soon following in the November of the same year. Following the initial detection, the Jansky Very Large Array, a program led by Caltech California, was used to form follow-up observations. This next set of data uncovered constant radio emissions that we believe were linked to the fast radio bursts. 
The Subaru telescope in Hawaii was also utilized, allowing for the location of the source to be somewhat reduced, placing it in the edges of a dwarf galaxy a staggering 3 billion light-years away from Earth. It's worth noting that this is not the first time a discovery like this has been made, with one other repeating fast radio burst having been detected previously back in 2012. Casey Law, an astronomer at Caltech and a co-author of the study, having led the VLA program, said, The big surprise for me was realizing that the new FRB seems to be such a perfect twin to an earlier discovery. Law continued, explaining that now that this is forming an observable pattern, and while some may argue that this is just a coincidence, the repetition suggests this is a vital part of the lifespan of a fast radio burst. This unfolds another mysterious and unknown aspect of fast radio bursts, namely how their sources evolve over time and whether it is a uniform occurrence that they repeat and if their activity remains constant. Some researchers, such as co-author Yu Wenfei with the Shanghai Astronomical Observatory, believe that by looking at and investigating the extreme instances of fast radio bursts, we will be able to find some more answers regarding sources, solving another piece of the puzzle. The global effort to find these answers is not over, with research teams worldwide being prepared to search for solutions to these questions. We still do not know precisely where fast radio bursts come from, and yet more questions and research avenues are still being developed. Scientists discover black hole has three hot meals a day. We all know we are meant to eat three balanced meals a day to stay healthy. Now, NASA have applied this same analogy to a supermassive black hole in a galaxy light-years away from our own. Astronomers found X-ray bursts coming from the center of the galaxy GSN 069 every nine hours or so. This data was collected through NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory and the European Space Agency's XMM Neutron, all of which suggests that there is a supermassive black hole out there taking in a huge amount of material on a somewhat regular schedule almost like eating hearty meals at regular times in the day. Before now, scientists had observed stellar mass black holes having regular outbursts, but this has never been seen from a supermassive black hole before, making this discovery very exciting. Researchers have estimated that the black hole, which contains 400,000 times the mass of the Sun, has been consuming the equivalent of four moons three times a day this is a tremendously huge amount of material to be taken in. Giovanni Minowitti from the European Space Agency's Centre for Astrobiology in Spain, the first author of the study, explained the significance of this huge consumption rate, stating, This behaviour is so unprecedented that we had to coin a new expression to describe it, X-ray quasi-periodic eruptions. This is an exciting discovery that is being explored further through further X-ray observations, tracking the regularity of bursts, and looking at new theoretical models. As further developments are made, we can hope to get closer to an explanation as to why this precisely is happening. Minijet found near Milky Way's supermassive black hole At the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way, there is a supermassive black hole. Occasionally, this black hole, called Sagittarius A star, shoots out a mini-jet into space. Thanks to Gerard Cecil's work with the NASA Hubble Space Telescope and other instruments, there is now new evidence that a several thousand-year-old blowtorch-like jet is still pushing into space. His findings come after the 2013 X-ray and radio wave-based evidence revealed a southern jet close to the black hole. Cecil of the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill set out to find a northern counterjet, while his team have not been able to photograph this jet, the telescope revealed a glowing hydrogen cloud close to the black hole that appears to have been hit by a jet stream. Experts believe that after the jet leaves the black hole, it eventually strikes this hydrogen cloud, causing streams of bubbles to stretch out 500 light-years in many directions. According to NASA, this can be compared to a narrow stream from a hose aimed into a pile of sand. The Milky Way's supermassive black hole is as large as the name suggests. It is more than 4 million times larger than our Sun. The black hole accumulates stars and gas clouds into its accretion disk. Accretion disk refers to the rotating matter that surrounds a celestial body. 
a black hole for instance, due to gravitational influences. Every so often, matter from the black hole will become superheated and shoot out in the form of narrow beams. These beams are what we call jets. The new observations from the Hubble Space Telescope suggest that the Sagittarius A star black hole is not inactive but will continue to periodically eject jets as it swallows large gas clouds or other masses. Right now, the black hole is powered down, but we are still discovering evidence from previous outbursts. Earlier observations showed that a jet stream from the Sagittarius A star around 2 to 4 million years ago created the Fermi gamma ray bubbles, a pair of massive glowing bubbles above our galaxy. Perhaps a future jet will sustain itself long enough to reach these bubbles, which extend 500 light years across. The black hole is expected to increase its luminosity so that this lingering jet channel will become more prominent after its next eruption. Researchers are interested to see how far this future stream will travel and if it will truly reach the Fermi gamma ray bubbles. But what do you make of these major scientific discoveries that have expanded what we know about our planet and beyond? But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.